A homeless man washed his hair by the river but poisoned the fish in the river. This is the first time he has eaten meat in three months. And before that, he lived every day by eating raw mushrooms and drinking dirty water from the river. He tried to fish but returned empty-handed again and again. He tried to spear a fish and ended up sticking himself in the foot. He tried to steal a bird's egg from a tree, but he couldn't climb it. This loser man's name is Jae Young. He was a good salesman, but because he owed a high amount of loan, desperate for life. He jumped from the Han River Bridge. As a result, he did not die. He was washed up on this isolated island under the bridge. There was nothing but garbage on the island. There was no way to get out. The only bridge connected to the top was a bare concrete column. Now he was completely trapped on this deserted island. Just when he was desperate, a tourist boat passed by. Jae Young desperately tried to attract attention, but the people in the boat thought he was saying hello. Jae Young could only watch them go away. Jae Young then tried to swim to the other side, but after drinking a lot of dirty water, he gave up. Because he couldn't swim at all, the loser Jae Young felt like a failure, so he tied his tie to a tree and prepared to hang himself. Then his stomach suddenly started to roll. Jae Young rushed into the grass to solve the urgent problem. Then he found a wildflower that he used to eat as a child. He plucked a piece and sucked on it, but it was still so sweet. Jae Young instantly cried out in excitement, and this made him stop thinking about killing himself for a while. No one can find him here anyway, so why not start living again? From then on, Jae Young drank dirty water from the river when he was thirsty and ate raw mushrooms from the ground when he was hungry. He tried to drill wood for the fire, but his hands were smoking, and he didn't see a spark. Angry, Jae Young had to give up. At night, Jae Young looks at the credit cards in his wallet that he owes. He sighed that a stress-free life was great. The next day, Jae Young woke up and started collecting scraps that could be used on the island. Luckily, he found an abandoned duck boat. This time, he has a home. To improve his life, Jae Young starts practicing his survival skills. But after much effort, Jae Young decided it would be easier to eat raw mushrooms. In the evening, Jae Young washed her hair by the river with laundry detergent. I don't know if it was because of the bacteria on his head or the chemicals in the laundry detergent that killed the fish in the water. Just like that, Jae Young finally had his first bite of meat. Although it smelled like laundry detergent, he was still very satisfied. While he was sleeping, the birds in the sky were attracted by the fish. Jae Young got up and found that the birds were also poisoned to death next to the fish. I must say, Jae Young has a strong resistance. Life slowly began to improve. And soon, three months passed, Jae Young has completely adapted to the island life. He began to enjoy this carefree life. He was away from the hustle and bustle of the city, and his stress was gone. When a tourist boat passes by, he doesn't ask for help anymore. Instead, he hid for fear of being discovered. Just then, Jae Young picked up a bag of fried noodles on the ground. There was a bag of seasoning inside. Looking at the picture on it, Jae Young was salivating, and this also aroused Jae Young's desire. He even dreamed of fried noodles. When he woke up, Jae Young had a bold idea. That is to make his own fried noodles. He picked out a bird shit and rubbed it with his finger. Suddenly, he shouted with excitement. He remembered that birds eat crops. There must be undigested seeds in bird poop. So Jae Young started collecting bird poop. Then he found fertile soil and cleared the land. He buried the seeds from bird poop in the ground and used his own poop as fertilizer. He used his suit as a scarecrow to chase away the birds. After three months of being trapped on the island, his IQ skyrocketed. Even the sweat he sweated while working, he would carefully pack it up, dripping on top of food to add flavor when eating. After a period of careful care, the seeds on the ground begin to sprout. He then rushed around the island looking for useful supplies. Just then, he found a drifting bottle with a note inside. It said hello. Jae Young suddenly remembered the hello he had written on the ground before. He looked at the building across the street in confusion. Did someone spot him and greet him? Jae Young was happy and scared at the same time. After some hesitation, he wrote how are you on the ground again. Soon after, he received another letter back. Jae Young hurriedly responded on the ground again. Since the drift bottle appeared, Jae Young started talking to himself at the scarecrow and guessing who the other person really was. Suddenly, he found that the seeds on the ground had grown corn. Jae Young cried out in excitement. After some more time, Jae Young's crops grew all kinds of food. He was going to start making fried noodles. First, he put the corn kernels into the basin made of the helmet and slowly beat them into powder. Then he stirred it with water. Using a drift bottle, he rolled the noodles flat and then cut them into neat strips. While the noodles were cooking, 
Shea Young dug out the long buried seasoning packet, he carefully poured it into the bowl, and so, a hearty bowl of homemade fried noodles was born. Shea Young was sobbing while stirring, he never thought he would actually make it. When he took the first bite of the noodles, tears can no longer be held back from falling. The next day, the mystery person celebrates that he got his wish. Shea Young immediately fell into a deep thought. He started to imagine talking to the other person. He became more and more curious about the other person's identity. He then wrote down who are you on the ground. But this time, he didn't get a response. Shea Young searched the whole island to make sure he didn't hear back from the other party. He began to lie in his nest all day long without thinking about food and drink. From that day on, Shea Young became more and more anxious. He turned from anticipation to depression at first. He wrote a big question mark on the ground and waited quietly for a response from the other side. But he waited for a long, long time but never got a reply. Instead, he waited for a storm. In one night, the storm destroyed all of Jae Young's crops and duck boats. After losing everything, he sat dumbfounded on the ground, desperate. He was ready to commit suicide again. But that's when two staff members found him. The girl's name was Rai Won. She hadn't left the house in three years. Her trash was piling up, and her cans were taller than a person. Because of her severe autism, Rai Won only dared to sleep in a closed closet and locked the door to her room. Even her parents, she avoided. Only through cell phone text message communication, only after her parents leave will she carefully open the door to get food. Despite this, she has a very regular life. She wakes up at 8 o'clock every morning, eating a can of 172 calories for breakfast, then step in place 3,000 times. She turns on her computer at 9 o'clock and runs her social media accounts. She likes to collect pictures from the internet and post them in her circle of friends to create an upper-class persona. At noon, when her parents are not home, Rai Won goes out to use the bathroom. Before 9 p.m., march in place a thousand times, then go back to the closet and watch hypnotic TV to fall asleep. She pretends to be busy in this way every day. Rai Won's only hobby is photography. She likes to photograph the moon because no one on the moon is as lonely as she is. And photographing the air defense drills in Korea twice a year. The whole city will be suspended for 20 minutes. Rai Won will open the curtains and bask in the sun with everyone else. And then use the camera to film every corner of the city. But this time Rai Won saw a man on the island trying to kill himself. She took the picture and then backed away in fear. She locked herself in the closet and couldn't calm down for a long time. This was the first time she lost sleep. At night, she couldn't help but turn on the camera to check. When she saw that Jae Young was still alive, Rai Won's heart finally dropped. From that day on, Rai Won's hobby was observing Jae Young, who was stranded on a deserted island. From the beginning, he ate raw mushrooms and drank the murky river water, to the later skilled fishing and stealing bird eggs. He even planted crops on the island and made homemade fried noodles. From the help written on the ground at the beginning to hello, Rai Won was attracted to this man little by little. After an internal struggle, she finally got up the courage to say hello to Jae Young. She came to the bridge late at night and threw a drifting bottle toward the deserted island. Jae Young found it and happily replied to her on the ground how are you? From that day on, they began to communicate in this way. Although they never saw each other, they became the people they cared about the most. Until that day, Jae Young wrote who are you on the ground? Rai Won hesitated for a long time. She was afraid that her appearance would scare the other person, so she didn't write back. After that, Jae Young wrote Y again in confusion, but Rai Won still didn't write back. At the same time, Rai Won's account on social media was exposed, and all the comments were critical. She looked through the comments and gradually broke down. She closed herself in the closet again. It was a stormy day outside and everything Jae Young had on the island was destroyed. He sat on the ground in a daze. Later, he was found by two staff members. He panicked and tried to escape, but they caught him and sent him back to the modern city. At this point, he was completely disconnected from society. He looked across the street to the 63 building and prepared to end his life there. When Rai Won witnessed everything, she immediately rushed out in a panic. Like Jae Young, she was afraid of the outside world. Two lonely hearts, but warmed each other, Jae Young got on the bus and prepared to go to 63 building. Rai Won tried her best to get here but was too late. She watched the bus slowly go away. She stood there and cried. Just as she turned back in despair, the air raid siren suddenly sounded. Rai Won's hope was renewed, and she ran towards the bus. Finally, she got on the bus before the air raid siren ended. She saw the familiar Jae Young right away. Rai Won gathered the courage to ask him, How are you? 
Shea Young instantly realized that the person in front of her was her pen pal who used to accompany her. Two lonely souls finally found their own place to stay. Remember to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next time.